We hope to play a good competitive game and present a positive image of our team and country, says Scott our coach Felix Sanchez war torn Syria as well as China, the ultimate sleeping giants, are both aiming to pull off a near miracles Asian qualifying for the 2018 World Cup heads into a final showdown today. Among Asia's heavyweights, Australia's progress is far from assured and South Korea are in danger of missing out on their first World Cup since 1982 in what will be a nail-biting last round of group games. Perhaps indicating rising standards in the region, competition for Asia's 4.5 places at next year's Russia World Cup has been unusually intense, with only Japan and Iran qualified so far. Group A is particularly unpredictable as South Korea, Syria. Uzbekistan and Marcelo Lippi's China remain in the running for either the second automatic berth, or a place in the playoffs by finishing third. Syria, despite playing their home games in Malaysia to avoid their country's bitter civil war, occupy the playoff spot after a win and a draw against China, wins over Uzbekistan and Qatar, and draws with South Korea and Iran. They play arguably the night's toughest fixture, away to Iran, who are yet to concede a goal as they look to stay ahead of Uzbekistan and China, and perhaps even leapfrog South Korea into second place. Chinese success would be just as eye-catching if they managed to rise from fifth in the group to snatch a playoff spot and stay in the hunt for just their second World Cup appearance. China were largely written off after defeats to South Korea, Syria, and Uzbekistan, but they are reborn since Slippy's arrival last October winning twice to keep their hopes just about alive. If they beat Qatar handily, and South Korea and Iran win against Uzbekistan and Syria respectively, 77th ranked China can celebrate a major boost in their grand plan to become one of the world's top football nations. I always tell my players, when there is still a theoretical chance, we have no reason to give up. We should make every effort to achieve it, Lippi said. Qatar, meanwhile, have only their pride at stake as they aim to notch up their third win in the final round of qualifying. Their only two wins have been against Syria and South Korea, but a 3 2 defeat last week against the Syrians last week in the return leg put paid to their already thin hopes of qualifying through the playoffs. We hope to play a good competitive game and present a positive image of our team and country, Qatar coach Felix Sanchez said yesterday at his pre match press conference. We have no other option. He added. Sanchez said that the focus now is on the feature building up to the 2022 World Cup which will be hosted by Qatar. We have both long-term and short-term objectives. We have started a project with some new players. Today's match notably will be the first international played in a venue, Khalifa International Stadium which will host games in the 2022 World Cup Finals. South Korea, looking to hang on to second place in Group A should be favorites against Uzbekistan but they are playing in Tashkent and against a team still smarting from their defeat to China. Uzbekistan have a toward history against the Koreans, who beat them to an automatic qualifying spot for both the 2006 and 2014 World Cups. The Uzbeks lost in the playoffs each time. This is our last chance. Either we beat South Korea or we should end football in our country, said Uzbek captain Otolomedov according to the FIFA website. They're our bogey team, it's a fact, Amidoff added. But we're playing at home and we have a duty to our fans. Australia's campaign is also in the balance after last week's 2-0 defeat to Japan left them third in Group B, behind Saudi Arabia on goal difference. The Asian champions will expect to beat bottom place Thailand and Melbourne and they will hope Japan do them a favor by keeping the Saudis in check in Jeddah. But a talented United Arab Emirates side also has an outside chance of overhauling Australia with a big win over Iraq, meaning Angie Postecoglou's side cannot afford any slip-ups.